to my channel. Today I am doing a video that I've seen a lot of. I binge watched like every single video of this on YouTube when my dog was getting neutered. That being said, I hit up Trader Joe's and decided while I want to try all these different pumpkin flavored things because it intrigued me, I was like, you know, I might as well film it because, I mean, it's a video and you guys like videos. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I went to my local Trader Joe's, picked up a few things and then stole some from Caitlin because she also did a video, the vegan version of this. So if you would like to stick around and, you know, be notified when I actually post videos, you can click that subscribe button and it would definitely help me out. And then also check out my other social medias, but... Other than that, that's all I really need to say before we get into talking about this nice yummy food. Basically what you need to know is that Trader Joe's goes hard in the paint when it comes to pumpkin fall stuff. The first thing I'm going to tell you guys to go get because this is amazing is a Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter. And if you want to smell like a basic bitch guys, this is the thing for you. It smells so good and it's like five dollars. It's vegan, so that's cool. Obviously I'm not going to taste that though because that would be very disgusting. The other stuff, let's go ahead and try. So I told Caitlin she could try these out because she wanted to try out the pumpkin bagels and she was asking me if I had tried them out. Basically these say that they are made from pumpkin flour, so cinnamon, nutmeg, clover, and ginger, and they recommend it with pumpkin cream cheese, which I didn't know there was a pumpkin cream cheese or else I totally would have bought that. Let's give it a go! But I did buy by the pumpkin butter. Oh my god, that's not the texture I was expecting. So, I'm gonna get one of these bagels out. It looks like baby poop or food. This pumpkin butter is the same consistency, I think, of as apple butter. Um, I, I don't really know if I like apple butter. I think that if you guys like pumpkin pie, then you're gonna like this, but if you don't, I don't really recommend as far as the pumpkin bagel is concerned, it kind of just tastes like a regular bagel with like a little bit of cinnamon. I would give that a C. Next up is the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Jojo's, which are like their Oreos. I'm not a big Oreo person. Thank you, Caitlin, for providing these. I'll then let you 10 cents. It's got a very cookie scent. I don't love that. To me, that kind of reminds me of like the uh-uh Oreos. You guys remember those? I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'd probably give that one a C too. <laughs> Next thing I got were these pumpkin cream cheese muffins. Banana. I'm like not even hungry. I don't know why I'm doing this video now, but whatever. So this has pumpkin seeds on it. I'm not a big pumpkin seed person, um, but I'm excited. That's good. And it's got cream cheese frosting. That's good. I'd give this a B. Next up are these pumpkin tortilla chips. These are crafted with simple ingredients including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I was not expecting that. My taste buds are so confused right now by this. No. This one gets a D. It just kind of tastes like cardboard. But if you sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on there, maybe a little bit of salt, that's what you get from that one. And the next one I have to try is the mini ginger pumpkin ice cream mouthfuls. I'm lactose intolerant, but I can't get this out. So basically this is like an ice cream sandwich and it's just got ginger cookies and then I think pumpkin flavored ice cream in the middle. And I like ginger and pumpkin is okay, so I figured I would give this a shot. On upon initial inspection, they were very difficult to get out of the package. Not that that really matters because it's just going into your stomach, but here we go. I hate buying the ice cream, it freaks me out. Holy sweetness. This is so sweet. I'm gonna need water. Off enough with that. That was very sweet. There's just some things you can't untaste. Now, I'm not going to say that was exactly bad. I considered myself to be very high tolerance when it comes to sweets. But, oh my god, I could only have two bites of that stuff. It was so freaking sweet. So, I would give that one, you guessed it, a big whopping C. I don't know why I'm doing this. You guys are probably like, this is so stupid, Sarah. You don't really like pumpkin stuff. But I do sometimes. But... There's one more item, but I've already technically tried them because I couldn't restrain myself and I got them all last year, so I know what they taste like, and that's the pumpkin waffles. You guys, the pumpkin waffles from Trader Joe's will mess up your world forever because I think they're so delicious. I would give them an A+. It's very subtle pumpkin taste, but 
100% delicious. Also, Caitlin bought like these pumpkin bars and she made them with like something to substitute eggs because she's vegan and they were so good. Go get those, that's amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me eat food. I know it's just a dream come true. Who doesn't wanna watch me eat food all day, right? No, um, I don't really know why I filmed this today because I wasn't very hungry and now I'm like really not hungry. Whoever thought of this idea, mass props because I was curious cat after that. I went and bought like everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and because I'm posting this after Halloween, I hope you guys have an amazing upcoming Thanksgiving season with your families and everything like that, and until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye! Peace. So today is a story time about how my dog is a hermaphrodite. <laughs>